This video is brought to you by Cracks Only. Check out the link in the video description below to get to their website and check out their latest products. Trust me, you do not want to miss them. I suppose uh, a big positive from this is the fact that you're missing a few key players because they're with the first team. How, how does that make you feel that some of the youth players are already with the first team and not playing in this game tonight? That's what it's all about. That's our job, isn't it? Yeah. So, uh, yeah, obviously, the more they go up, the better. Um, but they have to be ready when they go up. Uh, players have impressed the manager uh, and they've had opportunities and they've got to keep doing that. And we've got to make sure the next ones are ready and so they can transition as smoothly as possible. Travis, what sort of lessons uh, can our youngsters learn from, from nights like tonight? In control, in possession, technically really good, but then some of the physical moments of adult football can, can sort of, you know, come unstuck a little bit. Yeah, definitely. Listen, I think you've said it yourself there, so there was some good play, but it, we weren't quite uh, structured enough in our positioning, so the good play was harder to come by. We should have had more moments than what we did. And then the physical side of it, listen, if you're better with the ball, you have less physical moments. So. It, they go hand in hand, so we weren't good enough for the ball. Um, we carry a threat because we've got good players, but we should have posed more of a threat. Uh, and then we didn't defend well enough on two or three key occasions. The ball ends up in the back of your net twice, and you're chasing the game from that point. So, uh, yeah, both ends of the pitch, uh, a little bit of structure, it will take a lot from it. How do you, sorry, go on, go on. How, how do you manage that, that crossover when you're thinking, OK, they're, they're kind, of, kind of ready for men's football, or maybe they should stay with us another year. What, what sorts of discussions happen and how do you manage that, that crossover into men's football? Yeah, so obviously key staff meet on a regular basis to discuss what the right programme and plan is for our players. The manager and Darren Fletcher have a big say in terms of the, the greatest development is in the building around world-class players and you can see that with, with Kobe, you can see that with some of the other boys' performances early on in, in pre-season. Uh, I've seen some players in the last couple of days for the first time in three or four weeks and you can see a, a different intent and intensity to their training. So being around world-class players and, and world-class staff is only going to make them better. But sometimes the, the next bit means they need to go and play senior football elsewhere. So we have regular discussions around that. There's a lot of thought put into it. I feel we generally get it right. Uh, there's always a risk that loans don't quite work. Um, but players shouldn't be uh, overly judged on their first loans either. It's, uh, it's a difficult transition, it's not easy. And uh, listen, I think because a football club we get it right more times than not, individuals do progress, but it's not, it's not a straightforward um, process. And quickly on Johnny Evans back in the fold now. How has he fitted? Has he slotted in well? And some of the young players weren't all great from Johnny. Yeah, well. yeah, he's been brilliant around the group. Come, come straight in, uh, passing on his experience to the staff, to the players. Just fitted straight in, and uh, listen, he's a he's a fantastic human being uh, with great experience. So it's for him to be around our lads, much like Tom Huddleston, to have those players around you on a on a regular basis can only uh, quicken up the development of our players.